We start tonight with stories of faith and resilience from inside that synagogue and two new arrests in England. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Teresa Woodard and I'm Chris Lawrence. Uh, we've also learned the suspect flew here from the UK about five weeks ago, made his way to DFW. It was staying at a local homeless shelter just last week. It has been less than 36 hours since the siege started on Saturday morning in Colleyville. Police say Malik Faisal Akram brought a gun inside Congregation Beth Israel, a synagogue just a few miles west of DFW Airport. He took the rabbi and three other members hostage and started demanding authorities free convicted terrorist Afia Siddiqui from a federal prison in Fort Worth. And then, about six hours into the standoff, Akram let one of the hostages go. Now to some video that's a little jarring, but remember the victims were not hurt. This is exclusive video captured by a WFAA photographer showing the moment the rabbi and the three remaining hostages ran to safety. It was just after nine last night as the FBI was moving in and then you saw a man following after them with a gun. One of the hostages you just saw running out of the synagogue was the rabbi, uh, Charlie Citron Walker. He released a statement earlier tonight saying we are grateful for the outcome. We are resilient and we will recover. Rabbi Charlie, as he is best known, is a North Texas faith leader respected for his efforts to always bring religions together. WFAA's William Joy is live now with how that interfaith commitment continued even during those terrifying hours. William. Hey, Teresa, Chris, you guys mentioned that tense final hour and the word that I kept hearing talking to people today over and over again was relief. You know, there are a lot of stories of how this community came together yesterday, including the help that this congregation got from a church right down the street. And when our brothers and sisters in the Jewish community were suffering, we suffered with them. Father Michael Higgins was writing his Sunday homily when Colleyville police asked to use Good Shepherd Catholic Church as a sanctuary. It's terrible that they had to go through this. This is a, a frightening experience for the family. A block away at Congregation Beth Israel, Malik Faisal Akram was holding four men hostage, including Rabbi Charlie Citron Walker. Their families all gathered at Good Shepherd to wait, at first listening to a Facebook live stream from inside until the feed ended. In a sense, it made it easier because I knew what was going on to a certain extent, but it made it incredibly hard because their loved ones were in, in harm's way. The not knowing is uh, just a terrible part of not being able, of course, to communicate. Rabbi Andrew Paley of Temple Shalom in Dallas was there too. Families could occasionally text with the hostages as FBI crisis negotiators tried for 12 hours for a peaceful end. It was a long day um, and the family was, uh, you know, exhausted and waiting and hoping. And a mom and Baptist minister joined the rabbi and priest together with the families. It was a feeling of, of mutual respect and prayer. We are, all felt each other's pain. Around 5 p.m., the first prayer was answered and one hostage released. We held out in, in hope the whole time, trying to stave off fear. The longer it went, the more hopeful we were. Hours later, they got word their loved ones were safe. The relief was palpable and there was a, a lot of cheers and hugging. You just want to hug everybody. You just want to you want to thank everybody you could you could see. A day later, there's relief. It's over, but sorrow that a house of worship isn't always a sanctuary. Then we can love and respect each other, even if we disagree. There's no place for this in Dallas. There's no place for this anywhere. Higgins told me that Good Shepherd has a guardian ministry, meaning they have armed guards at their worship services. He says it's a great ministry and a terrible one. So even though this situation is over, there is still very much an awareness that this threat continues. Teresa.